There's a town in Spain called Belmez de la Moraleda, which has a population of under 2,000 people. In 1971, a very peculiar phenomenon happened that some people still debate over today. The phenomenon is known as the Faces of Belmez. A resident there named Maria Gomez Pereira noticed a weird stain on the floor of her kitchen, and the next day, the stain darkened and took the shape of a face of a man. Maria tried to scrub the face away, but it wouldn't go away no matter what she tried, so her husband decided to use a pickaxe to get rid of that part of the floor and lay down new concrete in its place. Strangely enough, one week later, the face returned. Word spread throughout the town about this, and a lot of people stopped by to check it out. Before Maria was able to destroy the face on the floor for the second time, the mayor of the town had that piece of concrete removed from the floor so it could be studied. Further research was done, and it was discovered that the house was built on a site that used to be a cemetery. After people dug about 9 feet below the house, they found skeletons, some with disconnected heads, underneath the house. The skeletons were removed and given a proper burial, after which the floor was replaced again. Not long after this, new faces appeared on the floor again. This was the third time that a face appeared on the floor, so the news went beyond the village this time. Maria's home was attracting hundreds of visitors who wanted to get a first-hand look at this phenomenon. Some of these people included priests, journalists, and paranormal researchers. A German parapsychologist named Dr. Hans Bender called the Belmez faces the most important paranormal occurrence of the 20th century. All that said, this was definitely a really strange occurrence, but let's look some more into the investigations that took place to find out why the faces were appearing. There were of course skeptics who weren't convinced this was anything paranormal, and then there were people who thought this must be some type of paranormal occurrence. A lot of skeptics believe this was just a hoax perpetrated by Maria for financial gain. Parapsychologists on the other hand had a different theory. They believed this was a case of photography. Photography is also known as thermography and psychic photography. It is the psychic ability to burn images from your mind onto physical surfaces. So I would be able to think of a dog, for example, and then with my mind, burn that image onto a wall or something like that. Parapsychologists believed this because they thought the faces that appeared would match Maria's mood, and the faces seemed to not ever change when Maria was not around. For this reason, they thought she was subconsciously using this psychic ability without knowing it. It's also important to keep in mind that the fact the faces would not change when Maria was not around also suggests it was only a hoax carried out by her. This hypothesis was put to rest when she died in 2004 at the age of 85. Both the parapsychologists and the skeptics believed the faces would stop appearing after she died since she wouldn't be there to create them either way. Well, surprisingly, they were both wrong. After Maria's death, these faces continued to appear and change on the floor. So this could not have been a case of photography, and it could not have been a hoax perpetrated by her. Some people were still convinced this was a hoax, and that Maria's son was the one creating the faces and changing them. As part of the investigation, samples of the cement were taken to the Institution of Ceramics and Glass for analysis. According to the analysis, there were no traces of paint or dyes found in the cement, which would indicate it was not tampered with. Still, there are other materials that could be used to create this effect besides paint or dye, so another experiment took place. Researchers took photographs and mapped out the floor of Maria's home, and then they covered it in cloth and sealed it in wax to prevent anyone from tampering with it. A few months later, they came back and uncovered the cloth to discover that even during the time it was covered, the faces had moved and transformed, despite the fact that no one could have tampered with them. The only rebuttal to this that I've seen were people suggesting that silver nitrate or something of the sort was used on the floor, which darkens when it comes into contact with ultraviolet sunlight. This at first does not seem like a very reasonable explanation, since the floor was covered in cloth, which should keep out sunlight. However, a blog called The Horror Tree wrote that the cloth that covered the floor was actually transparent, so sunlight could make its way in. If that is so, then that might be the explanation. Yet still, that wouldn't explain how some of the faces disappeared entirely or moved around on the floor. 
According to MysteriousPlanet.com, this phenomenon still occurs even today, so if you go to Belmez, you might be able to check it out. Do you think this was just an elaborate hoax, or was it a genuine paranormal event? Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.